Richie, many congratulations. World Championship debut, victory at Alexandra Palace. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. I'm just buzzing. I never thought I was going to, well, obviously I do think I'm going to win, but it, is a, it was a tough opponent. I've known Boris all year. So just get through, it's, it's a bonus. It looks as if you thoroughly enjoyed every minute from the walk on right up until you got on that stage. I've got my family here. My mum and brother have never seen me play that before, other than local. So it was good, and I wanted them to give me a show. And they win or lose. When you were turning up to the winning line in sight, did you make slightly hard work of it after that? I probably did, because I walked off that second. I've never done sessions, like walk off. And to go 2 new up and walk off again, I wanted to stay up on that stage and play. I've never done it before, and I was walked up and I was a bit flat. So I'm happy, really happy to get through the way I did, to be fair. The challenge to a win earlier in the season really helped you settle into it and know you can win again before you came here. It was hard. I mean, to win the challenge to a win is massive. I think to be sometimes it's harder to win one of them than it is the pro top just because there's so many really good players, no matter what round it is, it's very good. It done me good to get into the pro top as an art. That's all we've done for me. I'd say the Challenge Tour win, that then opened the doors to get you in early on because, Tours, yeah. because we all know that Challenge Tour ranking, you need to be top one or two earlier in the season to open those yeah. doors. Oh, I mean, I got through to the first, I think it was 10, 12, whatever it was. And it's a massive, it's a massive bonus. And obviously, then later in the season, you get a lot of the big boys do drop out. So if you're around about six, seven, I mean, I've got. I didn't think I was going to get in, but a lot of them pulled out, so happy days, really. What was it like the moment you realised that you'd qualified to come and play here? Well, I had a choice of going to Gibraltar, or qualify, trying to qualify Gibraltar, or go to the Pro Tour, at the Challenge Tour, to get, to get first or second, and I chose the Gibraltar and got through, and I won a game. And I was so happy. When I won that game, I thought, I'm 99% in here. I just got to win maybe one more game in the last couple if I get in. It's just, sometimes it's, it is a gamble because Challenge Tour and Europeans clash. And it's horrible to have to pick. Arguably the biggest gamble of your darting career? Easy. I mean, Callum Rez, who won the Challenge Tour, didn't go. He went that way and he got through, fair play. But obviously, I went that way. I got him. It is literally 50 50 flip of coin. Sometimes it's, t it's too hard, the decision. I mean, I had four tournaments to pull out, or a minimum, if I got through, first round, and got me in it. Playing on those pro tours before you come here, playing against the bigger players, did that help settle you as well, knowing you'd been, the ra been around them before you come here? Of course it does. I mean, I'm I've played, like, I've, 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 I've got a list, I want to play all the top ten in the world, and I've got two left, I think, but if you play them players, if you, even if you sneak a win, no matter where it is, it's good. I mean, I've sneaked a win against Gary this year, and probably should have done, but it, my confidence-wise, boosted massive. Having beaten the likes of Gary, James Wade up next, is there any fear there playing him? No. Not James, all right? I didn't mean not James, but no, I don't, I don't worry about anyone. I've played them all, it's, there's only to say two that I've not played, and I don't even fear. If I play my game, I'm going to give them a go anyway. It's down to them to miss, or, or it. Now you've got through the first one, do you feel you're almost on a free? Whatever happens is a bonus from now on in? It is. I mean, I, as I said to you, I, don't, I didn't expect to be here, regardless, because of change door, blah, blah. So for me, it's, it's, a bit, it's been a free roll year, getting the players' champs or whatever. It's, it's, it's pure free roll. That's probably what's helped me, helped me out, to be fair. Richie, pleasure. Thank you very much. Just one for me, Richie, if that's right. Um, does this your first game up on the big Ali Holly stage? It's really what your appetite for a big 2020 going forward. The, the crowd here, I've never been, obviously, I've never been on there. And the crowd is respectful, anyway, but they go everywhere. But yeah, I really want 
I'll kick on there because that crowd is lovely. I love being up there. That's what every dark player wants, doesn't they? <coughs> to be up there or any big stage. Uh, yeah, literally, it's wet me up the top there. So, the goal for 2020 moving forward, I assume, is get on the TV stage and start qualifying for the TV tournament. I've got to get, yeah, I've got to get my tour cards, but I won't need to if I get certain, I think it's yeah, certain distance in the world. But if I don't, do I go Q school or not? I will keep on. Trust me, yeah. The ladies were a big topic the last days, and especially tonight, because, you know, Fallon's Fallon playing, Fallon yeah. playing, right? Do you have a, an opinion on that topic uh, concerning the future of ladies in, in darts? I've said for a few years. I mean, they tried the Women's World Championship, didn't they, a few years back? Didn't quite work out, but I don't think they should. There's so many good dart players, women, about that maybe they can, I, I, I don't know. It's down to the test of Barry as such, but... Should, should there be a professional separated ladies tour or more mixed tournaments like the Grand Slam or even... Well, you've got, the, you've got the mix as the challenge tour, yeah, really. I think, well, championship-wise, perhaps have a little, a little, but a woman's world, <laughs> but they've got the challenge tour to play between everyone else. And to be fair, a lot of women mix it up with the men anyway. There's lots of very good women out there. Why don't we see them on, on the stage? In few school in January. Family. Work. I don't. I don't know. There must be something, some reason. I. I Maybe I money. It's a lot. It's a lot of money for Q school for a woman. Yeah. So, oh, but if they're going to give up work or whatever, I don't know. I just do not know what. Why my reason? There's loads of players out there, women players. It's quality. Okay, so you think when we uh, look further, maybe five years, ten years, so that will be some tour cut, female tour, tour cut holders, or that's down to power. I think it could be, but, but that's down to Barry and his team to sort that out. I just, I think there's a lot of women players. You watch. If I was there for the women qualifier, right? There was. In the UK? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's for the rest of the world? Yeah, the exactly. There's lots of very, very, very good players. I saw just one, to be honest. It was just me cool in Hildesheim. See, I think Anna, uh, I mean, there's a lot of good players. I mean, she's, she's different, right? She's good. There were averages about 40, 50 the first round. <laughs> I just thought really there's loads, tough. but... I just think we put it into one as well. Okay. Qualified. Last Otherwise. question concerning that topic. Um, are you fine with the motors we play here at the World Championship now with two uh, places for um, for women? Do you like it? You've got to give them the opportunity, haven't you? That's the thing. Why, why not? Well, ask me. As long as so you many... don't have to play them in the first round. Right? No, no, if I'd have to play them in the first round or fight, well, you've got to play them in there. They deserve, give them two chances, like give them two places, why not? They deserve the chance, they played all year for whatever. It was a great match. I mean, with Kerry yesterday, or she, she could have won. Yeah. She played brilliant. Why not give them a chance? Yeah. There's no reason, why not? And Fallon could do the same today. There's no reason why. Just because we're blokes and they're women, why not? Yeah.